Sounds good. Um, our program is basically based around a 15 year old girl. In the first episode, Barry's actually pregnant and then it's all about that. Um, the subgenre of our program is teen drama and we chose it because our story was based on a teenager and it relates to our age group. Our target audience was mainly for teenagers, more girls but could be for boys as well. Uh, in our scene, we see Jamie, the main girl, holding the toilet downstairs and effectively holding the pregnancy test. And we then see she has a flashback to the time after she got pregnant, where she got raped by a man that's unknown. Um, after this, you see her walking out to her friends and everything's blurry, she's not focus and she can't focus on anything and then she, she talks to her best friends Maddie and Zach and they try to talk to her and see if she's alright and she runs outside into the rain because she's upset and in the future episodes we think we might see Jamie telling her parents what's happened that she's pregnant and they throw her out of the house and disown her or the rapist could be somebody she knows we have is original because none of the groups have the same idea and no other groups are doing a teen drama. <coughs> um, pregnancy rates are rising now so it can make teenagers aware of being pregnant at a young age and it has a message in it that reflects the possible danger of what could happen to the brain. It will be success successful as it relates to teenagers in this time of generation. It will be successful as it's an original plot line that hasn't been done in a while. It also contains a message to speak to people about rape and it's an opportunity for younger people to speak about their problems. Our research into what I've done into our programme for the target audience has been done by asking people and see what they said. Thank you. 
paper so anyone can view them any time they'd like. And then for our final characters. We pick Fran as Jamie, the main girl who becomes pregnant. Ellie as Maddie, her best friend. Tom as Zach, who is James' other best friend. And Lewis as Jasper, who is the mystery guy. Uh -huh. <coughs> uh, for our locations, we're filming in the refectory. Uh, we're going to use the girls' toilets for when the main character finds out that she's pregnant and the main eating area where she is um, <coughs> We're going to use outside the refectory when it's raining to find out um, the, the scene of the mystery guy. And then we've got some HP locations. Um, for our props, we haven't got many apart from a pregnancy test, which we're going to use. Um, we're going to draw on to make it a pregnant instead of actually getting a real one. Um, instead of having loads of props, we're gonna, we've got a um, uniform to get across their personalities. So messy uniform would be like rebellious and that, and then the good uniform would make them smart and innocent. And then um, for the resources needed, we um, for filming we need a tripod and a camera, and then which we've already got. And then for the location, we've already got it. And we need a shooting schedule. Um, for the timeline of production, we think we'll need about three to four days after school and like one in the night time because one of our scenes is filmed at night and then we just need sort of the areas around school. And then possible risk that we slip in the main, so we'll make sure that people wear appropriate shoes or they could get locked in the toilet so we won't, we'll make sure they don't lock the door. And smashing cameras and then falling down <coughs> the stairs, so we'll only use the bottom floor of the factory. Yeah. Um, how are you going to represent your main character? Is she going to be, are you going to put her across as a, a strong character? Because obviously she's got a lot of issues to deal with. How are you going to represent her? She's going to be strong. She's going to be like, you can kind of like see her as when in flashbacks you see her walking and you see her confident and strong as she is. Mm -hmm. And then later you'll see her weak and all upset in front of her friends because it's really affected her. So in the audience, they're going to sympathise with her situation. Yeah. And <coughs> how is the story going to develop? So obviously you've got this event that's going to happen. How are you going to take that through to carry the interest along with the story? Um, I think we're going to show more about the man that you're not really seeing in the first episode and then more about her telling her parents and stuff. Okay. Does <coughs> it get resolved in the end at all? And one last question is, why would people enjoy watching it? Because they can relate to it, and if they have any problems, they can see what happens and talk to their parents and talk to anyone they need to talk to about it. Perfect, so brilliant, that's great. Thank you.